Hello guys! Again, this is Otisa Cogirl and uh, I'll be sharing a screen video of how to add a Gcash account to your WISE account. So this is actually a request from Bubui. I'm really sorry because I was too busy and uh, I have uh, no time to edit and make a video for you earlier so i hope this uh, can still help you and other people uh, who are having a hard time of adding gcash or sending money from wise to your gcash account i'll be sharing a live uh, video of sending real money next time but today i'm going to show you how to add and uh, send but uh, there's no uh, money involved first wise is uh, transfer wise before as we all know uh, this was their uh, old uh, logo and the new one is this one so from transfer wise to wise one important thing is you need to make sure that you are verified on your wise account and gcash account before we can send money okay so let's start the video and i hope you're going to like this Please like and subscribe if you think my videos are helpful. Thank you. Alright, so first we need to log in into our TransferWise account. Make sure of your uh, passwords and gmails are correct. So next is you click send the green button. After clicking, you will be uh, directed into this page. So you can choose if it is euro. So we are going to use euro. So we are going to send at least 10 euros to our Gcash. Just for an example. So here you can check the conversion of your money. As you can see there, there is the low cost transfer and the uh, guaranteed rate for 32 hours. The transfer fee is 0.88 euros. So that is 9.12 all in all. 1 euro is 57. Click continue. And then who are you sending to so let us try to send on my save Gcash account so I'm going to click Gcash we are going to uh, use or add a new recipient later on after clicking Gcash you are going to review your transfer. So as you can see there, Gcash is e-wallet. Double check your name and Gcash number. Before clicking confirm. Click confirm if uh, you are good to go. So how do you want to pay? So let's choose bank transfer. And say yes, you are the account holder. If you choose joint account, they need approval from your partner so it will take time. Click continue.
check and then next is I've made my bank transfer and that's it you have to wait for the email or text confirmation so uh, I'm going to cancel this transaction because this is only for demo the same with canceling uh, transactions using your ATM or bank so did you pay in your money you have to say no you have to click no and then cancel transfer so let's make another transfer to a new Gcash recipient <clears throat> okay so let's click make a new transfer or you can go back home and click the green button the send button there you can click that and it will direct you to uh, this page so again we are going to use ten dollars and then continue i mean 10 euros continue so right now we are going to click add a new recipient just like in adding a new atm so it's the same If you're in the Philippines, you can only send in Philippine accounts in Gcash. Let us try to send to someone else. So if you are going to send to someone else, you have to fill in important details of the receiver. Someone else has Gcash account, of course. The email address, account holder name, and the number. So, uh, you're going to choose e-wallet, not the local bank account. E-wallet is for Gcash and local bank account is for uh, banks. Let's go back and choose myself if you want to uh, send to yourself to your own Gcash. So, you have to uh, click myself. And then add a new recipient so uh, again choose e-wallet and then you can choose between paymaya or gcash click gcash and then put the new number And then after that, you click continue. Again, always double check to avoid errors and mistakes. Refunding and pending of transactions will take time. So your money will not be uh, sent or refunded uh, very quickly. So you click yes, I'm the account holder. And then there you go. I've made my bank transfer. You click that. And then after that, you can see here the money is on its way. So let's cancel this transaction again. Did you pay in your money? No. After cancellation, WISE will send an email about it. Any transactions from uh, WISE is recorded so they can send you an email. So as you can see here, they sent me two cancellations so that you are aware of uh, what's happening to your account so if i were you you can uh, check your settings and uh, click check or on in sending emails to you to you whenever there is a transaction for you to monitor your account in wise that is how you are going to add your gcash account next time i will make a video of sending real money from wise to gcash thank you for watching again and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you god bless